Okay, so by far and away the largest part of this project was site preparation. We moved the walls, then we had to uh, get the grades um, that were to something that were acceptable for the greenhouse. And this outside part, where I'm standing right now, was in the front yard. And it graded away from the house and away from the backyard. So we had to build the grade up. We had to dig the footers for the uh, new concrete block wall. And we had to basically prep the foundation for the greenhouse. Now, if you're talking about a solar greenhouse, um, which is kind of the catchphrase for a greenhouse that you don't need to put any energy into to keep it warm enough to grow vegetables all year round, then you're talking about several different energy management techniques to make that work. And the first, and I think probably the most important, is to get the foundation well insulated. And what we did all the way around the exterior of the greenhouse is we dug down about two and a half feet and we put in um, one to two inches of the blue rigid insulation. In some places we put in one inch and I think in most places we put in two inches. Um, I forget the R value of that, but it's been very effective because if you take a temperature anywhere in this greenhouse where I'm standing right now, um, it'll be about 65 to 72 degrees. This is the middle of, well, this is actually February in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And if you go out and um, take the same temperature at the same depth outside in the sun, it's going to be about 33 degrees. So um, the first and I think probably the most important aspect of building a solar greenhouse is to isolate the greenhouse from the outside environment so that you can build solar mass, store energy, store heat in the soil and everything else inside the greenhouse. Anything that weighs anything inside the greenhouse you can store heat inside of. And there's lots and lots of energy coming from the sun. We're storing that heat in everything inside the greenhouse and then we're releasing it at night.